Hello YouTube, I am here with a video that I have been planning to make for a while, and it's finally being made now. I hope you guys, your guys' December is going well, mine is. It's going by extremely quickly. It was today I realized that Christmas is only in two weeks, and the weeks are really actually going by quick for me. Usually they go in slow motion in December, but not this one. I oh, don't know, it's really weird. As you can tell from the title though, this is going to be 15 ways on how to destroy a regen ceramics in BTD5 mobile. Because I have never seen one of these videos for a BTD5 mobile. I saw one of these videos, only one being made, and it was for Flash or Deluxe. Which I guess aren't too different from mobile, but here goes. First of all, we're going to do monkeys that can destroy them well on their own, just just solos. So first of all, people may have seen this one coming. Just a 4x sniper monkey, which means like it can be 0, 1, or 2 for the other one. First of all, add our option for regen. As you see, as you can probably see, he destroys them. You don't even need a 4x, you, can only, you only need really a 3x sniper monkey. Because 4x is only changing it for Moabs. Which maybe I'll cover in another video on how to destroy easily. Okay, the next one is... A 4... 2... Glue Gunner. Now, I did this one because... The two makes it splash, so it hits them so much easier. Look how fast they just die. This guy can destroy huge clusters, whereas the sniper only destroys a couple unless you have multiple. That makes him a very good monkey for balloons, but his downfall will be like the Moabs and stuff. The next thing is pretty obvious. I'll actually put him here. It's a 3x super monkey. Range is only you. Range might be necessary depending on the map. But this on Roswell, this map is not really needed. You place as many of as you want, he's just gonna destroy them. Yeah, it's really cool. Another one that works is the three the 2-3 lucky though. It has to be a 2-3 technological, not technological terror, but 2-3 to robo monkey. reason it has to be 2 three is because of the plasma. But yeah, see how he destroys that? It's really helpful. Moving on to number 5. One you have to maintain a bit. So I like to start it there. It is a 4 to mortar monkey. You slow it down. You let him hit them, light them. You move them. You move them. You might hear my sister yelling for some reason. I don't know why. She is, but she is. And see, he took care of those. Okay. Now for number six. Six and seven are pretty much the same. This one is 3x of this. One second, guys. My obnoxious sister, I need to be... Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to go bring up laundry because my sister didn't want to. It's annoying when that happens, I know, but I did it, and I'm back. So I'll show you the 3x startling destroy these guys so quickly and so efficiently. I mean, they seem like they're about to get by like this, but if you have good enough aim, and remember to be in, sl in the normal speed instead of fast, because then they go faster and you won't be able to hit them as accurately, and you'll hit them if you do that. Now the next one, that's why I said um, 6 and 7 are similar, is because now it's the 3... X3 
really good. He's a little bit different. You have to aim perf you have to aim like this good. Well, but in some cases they get through like they just did. But if you look, if I stay on more, then it will most likely win. It's just a case of accuracy. See, only a couple got through that time, so it's still pretty efficient. Now, number eight is a 4-2 spike factory. Yes, it has to be 4-2. Speed it up a little, and then slow it down, because you have to let it put out a couple of spikes. Then you can put out a bunch of ceramics to test it out, or when you're the thing, you the ceramics will come. As you probably just saw, the ceramics got wrecked. Next is a 4X Heli Pilot that must be on Pursuit. Slow it down. So it'll be grouped and do that and see how quickly they get destroyed. Last but not least, sometimes, depends, <laughs> is the 4X Engineer. Reason he's really good is because of his blue trap skill, which just got placed now. He also gets rid of the regrow, though he is much, much more efficient when you group them together. As you see, two ceramics got by. It's really based on luck with where the blue trap gets placed. So he's not the most efficient, but he still works most of the time. Now, the last five, as I just did ten solo, I have five, I picked five of the most efficient combos of monkeys, so two different types of monkeys or one monkey just double with different upgrades. There might be even multiple, more than two, but it will only be at max two of different monkeys um, stuff, so there are only, there could be like ten monkey villages and one dartling gun, for example. That's not a thing out there, but just example. Okay, my first one. A blue trap there. I don't know why. You have four X of a viral frost monkey tower. Of the ice monkey tower. And you do a four X cannon tower. Keep in mind, guys, I wrote these up myself, so it's good. And they're not just stolen off the entry or something. Let me show you. You place these, they get so slowed, and while they're frozen, it's harder for them to come back because they get popped. And they got destroyed there, as you just saw. Just utterly destroyed. Got wrecked. The next one is a 3-2 glue gutter. Also, a three two ice monkey. Now, what happens here is when they're frozen, they also get glued, so they're popping like crazy while they're stuck in place, so they can't get out of there. As you can see, I can place a bunch and they will get popped because of the six at once every shot. It's really helpful. Number three for the combos, or number 13 overall, is a X4 monkey, and then nine monkeys around it, which can be helpful more than just a regrowth ceramic, which pretty much all these strategies can be. Let's see, three, three, two, one. As you can see, so now these, I use this. They pop them, if you probably just saw that happen, so I will just find another one in case you think that that was the reason they got popped. But now look. They pop get popped extremely quickly. 
it is now being upgrading them all. But it's extremely quick and extremely efficient. The cost might be a little bad for some of these, though. You might have to have good money. But regen ceramics come out about round 76. And they can be a huge pain sometimes. That's why I'm doing this. Because cost isn't always the biggest worry. Because when you're at round 76, you usually on hard mode, so you'd have banana farms and such. The fourth combo upgrade, 14th upgrade, and second last is a two, three blue chipper because the two needed for the heavy duty because it has to pick up leads and which aren't part of this, but you need it to for it to be able to suck up leads and ceramics. And then be with it, you want to have four two ninja monkey four two because of Distraction helps go back so you have more time. And then the uh, seeking shuriken is essential most of the time with any ninja monkey. As you can see, he sucks a bunch in. Ninja monkey gets rid of some others, and well, he's destroys those, the ninja monkey, and him just obliterate it. Now, for the final one, the fifth combo, and the 15th way overall, the last but not least, definitely not least. May not be the best, depending on your situation, but at least is the two, three, apprentice, and then let's see, we have the two, three. I prefer it on circle. It doesn't matter though, as you see, it's just as I don't know where, don't know where he's going, but you need two, three monkey ace and two, three wizard. Apprentice, as some people call him, as his generic name is too. See that? They just massacre them. These darts stop them from regrowing. Unless there's a huge lump like that, they get through, as I tried to show you there. But when they're like this, they just get obliterated. Oh, and remember, like, a couple got through there, though. On this map, I would prefer to put him... Here of all places, because I feel I would do better. As you can see, they did do much better. Still a couple getting through, but it worked. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching this epic video of epic awesomenessity. <coughs> Probably post more BTV Five Mobile things in the future, not just tips. Maybe tips on how to beat uh, expert or extreme maps or something, because I've done that already. I haven't beat extreme maps on medium or hard though. I haven't tried though, like, because I I'm working on beating a pop over all easy maps. It's not like I'm having trouble. I just it's because I'm trying to get to masteries, and the road to masteries is pretty hard. And at the moment, I am just finished all the easy, medium, hard, and reverse for each easy stage. Except for one. The space truck in the last one, I haven't done hard. I'm just going to complete a pop -a on everyone until I get to that one. Just because. But anyway, see you guys later. I know I haven't been out with videos for a while, but I've had projects and stuff for school. I've been busy with school. Man, I've had a lot of stuff right now. Check out the video before this, the stalker cat video. That was really weird. Followed me and my friend Braxton all the way to the store, back to my school. When I'm going on the Boys and Girls Club bus, he followed me on there. I had to get him off. Man, I haven't seen him since. I wish I did. He's hilarious. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, Cinderquills.